What is going on, everybody, and welcome to episode 19 of Trading to Glory. If you're new to the series, this is where we buy no FIFA points, buy no coins, play no games. We trade to as many possible coins as we can get up to. And today, we are going out and we sold a couple of our investments, our Felipe Andersons. If you guys checked out the last episode, we bought all three of these guys for 85,000 coins. And literally, it took 24 hours. We were able to sell that card for 23K, more than what we got it for. After tax, we're making like 18K per card. Adds up to... What would that be like 50k 18 plus 18 36 plus 18 54 54k so about 54,000 coins and luckily we were able to sell our stones back on the market what we got them for you actually did rise up to like 30,000 coins overnight last night so we're gonna go and clear those sold items we also sold one of the pellegrinis only one of them for 14,500. that is a lazy buyer that went out and picked it up again guys there's no reason not to be listing these cards all the time for lazy buyers because every now and then somebody will come in and pick them up but something that has been brought to my attention um, by park i've shouted to him out a lot in my trading to glory series because he helps me out on stream a lot to find these deals but one thing we're focused on today is gold cards we've got division rival rewards that came out in the early morning and then we have uh, the weekend league rewards that came out like just about an hour ago at the time I'm recording this so gold cards are really being thrown onto the market quite a bit any cards that are currently in packs really being thrown onto the market quite a bit so if you take a look um, over at footbin I have uh, the market uh, index pulled up which is essentially going to show you the market momentum which is at 35 percent which is very low if you guys were in this uh, stream, or I think I put it in the episode a couple episodes ago, is that 56%, so it's way lower than it was a couple days ago. And you can see some of the cards that are down the most. Now, not all of this is completely accurate. you got to take Footbim with a grain of salt because it doesn't update completely accurately, guys. But these cards are down in price. DeAndre Yedlin is a card that normally goes for like 1,800 coins. He's down to about 800. Anaki Williams normally goes for about 2,000 coins. He's down to 1,300. Allen is down 42%, which means he probably goes for about 3K. Usman Dembele probably goes for about 3K as well. Yannick Carrasco probably goes for near 3K. Quarantin Tolisso for a little bit over 3K. All these guys are down right now. Now, I don't want to make huge investments in any single one of them. I'm not going to fill up my transfer list with all of them, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and test this out in today's episode. What we're going to do is we're going to buy one of each card on this list, just one of them of every card today on um, Thursday. Every single one of these cards, well, at least most of them, and we're just going to send them to the club, and then we're going to check again on their price tomorrow, Friday. We're going to check their prices again tomorrow and see if they've risen or dropped overnight, which probably they won't have dropped. They should have risen, and see if we can kind of use that as a trading method every single week. You know we have our Sunday bidding series, which is a very big success, especially over on Twitch. The Sunday bidding makes us so much profit each week. Maybe we can have a Thursday sniping series as well, which would be pretty, pretty fun uh, to go out and snipe all these guys once the weekend league rewards come out. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to buy uh, a few of these cards, most of them, uh, just one of them, and send them to the club so they're not using up any transfer list space. First up, we picked up this Vidal who we got for 5700 Normally goes for like maybe seven to 8 k so we're going to hold on to that one. Glick right now is like stupid cheap, and so are a lot of 83 rated cards right now. I've already picked up a lot of 83s for super cheap anyway, so it's not a big deal at all. I've already got a Glick himself. I got like most of the 83s already, but I looked at that Glick and I was like, okay, I'm buying another. I'll just send him to the transfer list. And honestly, that might be my investment is going all in with 83s. Now, something I do want to mention, guys, is that... Um, in a couple of days, uh, we will be seeing Player of the Month for all these different Player of the Months, but we're, we might not be seeing it on Friday for, for EPL. I, you, know, you would assume that it's confirmed, but it's actually not given the fact that it's international break, which makes me think that maybe they're going to release it on Tuesday when they get back from international break, which is also when they're announcing, announcing Goal of the Month for Premier League. So normally they announce them on the same day, so I'm assuming Tuesday also could just be next Friday, which would be so annoying, but also kind of good for me, given the fact that I didn't invest in Player of the Month Premier League. So if there's a little bit of panic tomorrow, I can go ahead and get it in on those Premier League investments a little bit late. Now, for the Bundesliga, it's annoying for me because i got to wait till they come back from, you know, from international break for the uh, Player of the Month hype to really build because i got a ton of infirms on my on my transfer list. But nonetheless, that, that could actually end up being a plus. Picked up Unduan now for 4500 I've also picked up a couple other cards that we're adding strictly just sending to the club. Next up, we got Carrasco for 1800 Got a Naki Williams for 1200 Add it to the collection. 
All right, so since the last clip, I've gone a little bit overboard. You can tell I've spent a lot of coins, but for good reason, okay? Let me show you guys what I've picked up, okay? Let me show you what I've bought. Now, obviously, we still got those Pellegrinis in the market, but here's what I went out and bought. I bought a bunch of 84s and 83 rated cards right now. They're just too low. I mean, Di Maria for 2200 for 2300 That's just too low for me. These are 84 rated cards, right? And then we also got a Benzema here. He's a little bit cheaper, I think, 2,000 coins. Got Glick for 950. That's just, yeah, I showed you that earlier. And I picked up a couple of Verners that are 83 rated for like 4,500. Toliso for 1,700. Carrasco for 1,800. And Allen for 1,700. But that does not even, it's not even close to stopping there. On our transfer targets are the best deals. I picked up all these 84 rated Thalvin cards, man. Look at how many deals. Let me show you guys what this Thalvin card actually goes for on the market. So Thalvin actually sells on the market for like right now 1800 but probably like 2500 normally and we got this card we're already making profit it's like sunday bidding almost we got a bunch for 1700 1400 1700 900 800 1200 900 900 and we got raul albi all who is also a very similar price on the market about 2000 coins right now about 2k you saw a bid there for 17 or we got that for 950 and then across on this page 1000 1100 950 950 700 700 700 950 1300 1400 we're making like a thousand coins per card at least on these cards and then a couple more here for 800 to 1000 then we moved on to Sergio Roberto, who we also got great deals on. He goes for a little bit more than the other 84 rated cards. He's actually usable in weekend league. He gets, I guess, better links, uh, especially La Liga 84, Barcelona, and being um, from Spain, that helps. Right now, Sergio Roberto goes for 2,700 coins, maybe 2,600, 2,700. Normally, he goes for like over 3K. So we got a bunch of those Sergio Roberto cards on bid as well. So let's see where do they start. So we got all those Sergio Robertos starting here, two thousand. So not as much profit on that one, but eleven hundred, nine fifty, eight fifty, eleven hundred, seventeen hundred, like two thousand coins on some of these cards right here. A uh, thousand on the rest, and um, then we got a couple of Di Marias on bid for even cheaper than what we bought them now on on uh, some of the buy now. Seventeen hundred is a pretty good deal. Got a couple Corrington Talisos for fifteen hundred and 1800 normally goes for like twenty five to 3,000. He was one of the cards that was like on the, you know, biggest percentage of being dropped today. And then that's not it either. We went out and I picked up a bunch of cards and put them in a club similar style, but also got some 85s in here as well. Our first 85 is 4,000 for Ibra. I mean, that's just insane. It's an 85 rated card. And then we get, I sniped a Brahimi for 3k. And then I also got a Vidal for 5,700. Um, so that's pretty sick. And then also I sniped some, so I got some really, really good snipe, um, for a thousand, I think it might've been this one. No, it wasn't that one. I don't know where it was. I got some really good snipe somewhere. Now that Mkhitaryan, don't get me wrong. I bought that earlier this week. So, uh, actually no, maybe I did buy it today. He's, that's actually a decent deal. Yeah, I did buy that today. I remember now. Um, Manzukic I bought earlier this week for 1900. So I could have got a better deal on that. Same for Bernardo Silva, but I also picked up a new Unduan card for 4,500 coins, being the fact that he is Germany, so for Bundesliga Player of the Month, and then also Manchester City for possibly if Raheem Sterling wins Player of the Month, but it'll probably be Hazard. Nonetheless, he's 84 in the Prem. And this card goes for like, you know, 6K, maybe 5.9K uh, right now. Uh, we picked up a Benzema here for 2.8K as an 84 rated, which I think is a great deal. He goes for like 4K normally. Picked up a Barzagli for 2.4K. Then Jonas, we also picked up 2.6K. Casper Schmiegel got him for 3.2k, which I bought that a couple days ago, so he's dropped a lot more. Um, nonetheless, still like a decent deal for him, but like I could have got him for a lot less if I waited on some of these. Sule picked him up today for 2100. Javi Martinez, I think, was the snipe. Yeah, this card goes for like 3,000 coins. Uh, I stand corrected, 2,000 coins, but we sniped him for 1100. Alara Mendy, we got for 2k, pretty normal price right now, but I imagine he'll go up. And then we picked up a bunch more 83s as well that we didn't have already. So a few more of those guys that we didn't already have. But we got a ton of 83s that we've already picked up throughout the course of the last week and the last couple episodes. So we're ready for an SBC for sure. Hopefully these new Player of the Month SBCs that come out within the next week 
rise the prices of cards a ton. Hopefully, they're used in like UCL marquee matchups or regular marquee matchups. Hopefully, they're needed in some sort of promotional SBC or maybe scream cards. Anyways, this method I'm going to call maybe the hibernation method. You just store them in your club and you wait for them. Um, and to rise. They're very, very uh, good deals, but we can sell them for even more. So we're already making profit on these Thalvins, right? But I don't want to sell them yet because I know he's going to rise even higher than what he is today. So we'll see what they are this weekend. We'll see what they are next week, especially when Player of the Month drops, but we're not going to sell them yet. In terms of selling our Bundesliga informs, though, right now we do have to check their prices because I haven't checked them. And I imagine because of this, like, little dip in prices especially with the new team of the week which i explained in the last episode we've got some cards that are really low rated in the in, in bundesliga or really low price you got hoffman and you got paco alcacer so both these guys are probably going for near discard now which sucks for our inform investments because that kind of prevents previous team of the weeks from rising in price like abizovich and zealer the cards that we have so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at their prices right now. And unfortunately, like I just don't know if these no-risk investments are really working out that well. Like to be honest, I, I don't know if we're we're not gonna take an L because it was no risk, and we're gonna be making profit no matter what. Which is the beauty of picking up no-risk investments is the fact that you're gonna make profit no matter what you do. Um, we got every single Abizovich card for literally ten thousand coins. So even if we sold them for eleven two fifty, we're still making seven hundred and fifty coins per card. That's the beauty of no-risk investments, but. You know, I was expecting them to have risen to like 13, 14K by now, and they definitely have not gotten up there yet. And the main reason is because of... Is that a deal? What the heck? I feel like I can flip that. That's uh, not like a crazy great deal, but I know I can flip that card. So, um, I don't know. In, any any OTW for 11K catches, catches my eye. Um, I'll take any OTW for 11K. But uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. But yeah, any so we're making profit. I just wish that they had risen more. And because of the new informs that came out um, for, for Paco Alcacer and Hoffman, it, it kind of prevents the old ones from rising. Because you're going to see the Player of the Month uh, Premier League rise. So if you invest in Player of the Month informs, you're good to go. Um, you're really good to go because there's no cheap Premier League informs from this play, uh, Team of the Week. So any Team of the Week 3, Team of the Week 2, and Team of the Week 1 Player of the Month uh, or Premier League informs, they're going to rise because they're the cheapest ones still. So, you know, Barkley's there, but he's 30K plus, And Josh King's there, but he's also like 30K plus, 40K plus. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the deal behind it. But let's go ahead and see if we can get in on some of these bids real quick on Josh King. There are quite a few expiring in the next couple minutes. We'll check his buy now, and uh, we'll sell him into the Weekend League hype, which will start tomorrow. Now, something to remember, guys, is because of the international break i know i mentioned this but just a reminder because of the international break there's not going to be uh as likely a chance that there's going to be player of the month on friday now it could still happen but i don't think it's going to because you know if hazard or sterling win it i imagine they're both going to be away playing games for their country and they won't be there to accept it you know what i'm saying um so i they did it last year where they pushed it back a week during the international breaks so i think they're probably going to end up doing the same thing i just didn't think about that until now um like the, yesterday, I thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. We probably are making these Player of the Month investments a little early, which is fine. The earlier you are, the better deals you're going to get. But it does add another aspect to it is maybe on the Friday, which is the day that this video goes up, like this morning, when there's no Player of the Month, there might be a little bit of panic selling. So kind of keep an eye out for the panic because if there is panic selling, you pick those cards up, you only have to hold them for a couple of days. And you'll be making, um, you know, solid coinage uh, in a very short amount of time. Just went out and picked up a Felipe Anderson OTW. Now that the Inform is rising, we've sold those investments. What I said I wanted to do is reinvest in him, but get his OTW card. As you guys can see, this card has risen a ton in the last hour. So maybe I should have held a little bit longer, but we still made a ton of coins on him. So I can't be mad. And given the fact that his regular Inform is up to 121k, you know, having his OTW at 125k, I think, is a great deal. I think that OTW is bound to rise. Even though there's a little more supply of the OTW, it's a dynamic card. So, obviously, it's going to get hyped up for the week, you know, on the weekends whenever he plays for Brazil or whenever he ends up playing for West Ham. Obviously, he's going to get more time at West Ham than Brazil. I don't know if he's really going to get any time at uh, Brazil this weekend. But hopefully, he does. And uh, maybe he can uh, pull 
uh, out a couple goals if he uh, if he does get any playing time. But nonetheless, that's only 5K more than his inform. So I think it's a great time to buy that card. I might buy one more. But I'm kind of hesitant given the fact that I only have 176K liquidated. And I don't like being under 100K liquidated. I really don't like being under 100K. I like to stay at that. that that's, that's like the mark that I stay at at all times. Um, just in case like a promotion drops out of nowhere and I'm I, or an SBC and I'm, I have that ready, you know? So I don't like being under 100K, but I might just pick up one more if I can end up, you know, flipping some cards for some profit and actually get up to that 100K again. But nonetheless, pretty good deal. Maybe I'll only pick up one of them. Maybe I'll pick up a couple. But uh, that's something you guys should be looking at is OTWs right now. Um, Fred, Richarlison, or a couple other Brazilians you can go for. And, uh, yeah, we did pick up that Sané. So I got to go and relist that on the market. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can sell that for 13.5K. Make a little bit of coins on that card. Uh, going to list up my Pellegrini, list it up for 14k. It's not that much coins. Uh, and then we got all these guys that I will probably list up in the near future. Let me go ahead and relist all of my Bundesliga cards as well. I need to give you guys a fair warning on what I believe and probably what's going to happen with these UCL cards. We've kind of noticed, especially these ones on the bench here that are a little bit more expensive, they've been rising pretty uh, consistently throughout the week, especially cards like Davinson Sanchez, who was about 170k all throughout the week, and he's now 206,000 coins. And I even saw a couple go up for like 145, 150 throughout the week that I kind of passed up on, but uh, we'll ignore that. Nonetheless, guys, he's gone up a ton for weekend league because people are using them their weekend league squads and there's not that much supply. But what I'm going to tell you right now, these cards are going to crash, especially on like the after weekend league and like on that Tuesday where UCL marquee matchups comes out. Oh man, these cards are going to crash so hard from what they are right now. This Dobinson Sanchez 200k right now, not even going to be close to that here in just a few days not even going to be close so just be careful with your cards if you have any of those big guys go ahead and sell into the weekend league hyper if you're going to use them in weekend league then make sure that you sell before the weekend is completely over sell before sunday night in my opinion get rid of them get that get get those coins and then and then kind of play it safe from then on out dembele for 145k all right, we just placed a bit of 137 there. I'm thinking about buying this card. I'm not sure if I want to buy this card or not. But it looks like he is going for like 170, so I'm going to try to flip that. I'm going to try to flip it. It just looks too cheap. I feel like I feel like it's it's there's too rare right now. I feel like that's an easy flip. 145. Um and what what's the next cheapest? 178. I feel like that's a good deal cuz at 175k at this price that's about 8k profit or 8k tax that's 168 which means i'm making 23k profit so i'm thinking that's a good deal because i still got a couple days to sell this card anyway so i can sell this overnight for sure i'm gonna list it for one hour to start at 175 we'll see if it sells for that um, we'll start it at 170k um, and go to 175 see if it sells for that and then if it doesn't i'm gonna list it overnight Sorry, that's that's my dryer. But uh, um, we're going to sell it overnight if it doesn't sell in the first hour. But yeah, that's kind of the one of the reasons why, why I like to keep 100K liquid because of stuff like that. When a card goes up for super cheap and you're not liquid and you see that card for super cheap and you're like, oh no, I wish I could have bought that. That happens a lot when you don't have that many coins. But now I don't have that many coins. So hopefully that Dembele sells soon so I can do it again. Absolutely easy coins, boys. He already said it took like five minutes for that card to sell. We made... 20 23k profit after tax right something like that pretty easy coins there pretty good flip i'm happy with that we've got all our cards listed up in the market now too so for lazy buyers to pick them up that's what's up and uh, now we got nearly 200k to um to work with in terms of sniping more of these cards and then also uh if i do get up to 225k i'm thinking about buying another felipe anderson otw for 125k if I can, I've seen them start selling at like one, um, 130, 135 already. So he's already rising even higher. I knew that was a good deal. There's a uh, one that just went up for 172. So I, I would have gotten undercut if that literally was on the market for only a couple more seconds. So something I went and noticed is that Felipe Anderson is already selling at 140k tonight. Um, basically, when you add something to your transfer target, it says the listing expired, it means it got bought. And that one was listed for 140,000 coins, which is super sweet. Right now, though, we do have one on our transfer targets for 142K that hasn't gotten bought yet. But that's about what they're going for now. 
You can even see it on the bid. 136k on bid for those cards. Um, so we're already making good profit. I'm pretty happy that I was able to dump my other Felipe Andersons and pick up this one. But on top of that, you know, we got that deal earlier with Moose and Dembele. So I'm pretty happy about that, guys. And then you guys, you know, this has just been an insane episode. Like, seriously, drop a like on this video, guys. I've like I don't know if we've made this much profit in a single episode before. I mean, we probably have a couple times, but like this has got to be in the top 3 episodes for profit. Like it's insane. Next up, I'm doing marquee matchups. I've already completed all of them and I literally spent about 4,000 coins on all of these combined. Um I guess I spent a little bit more, but with cards that I already had in my club that have gone up because of these SBCs, I was able to sell on the market. So overall, I really just spent about 4,000 coins, and I get a, a lot a lot of packs back. I get a lot of packs back. So first up, Croatia versus England. Um, I went with a couple of English guys. So I went with the English guy at goalkeeper, and I went with an English guy here at CDM. And then for the rest of the club, I kind of went with, like, just random people. I went with Chinese up top because they're really cheap, and then I got some Saudi Arabians down here. All these guys were already in my club. Um, and then I got uh, another just Saudi Arabian just chilling there because we didn't need the chemistry and he was super cheap. So, um, not cheap, but he was he was already in our club. Uh, Netherlands versus Germany. Updating store catalog. I, I'm not ready to open the packs yet. All right. Netherlands versus Germany. We've got uh, two Netherlands or Germany players. I just ignored the Netherlands requirement and went with two Germans right here. I actually went with three Germans because it was easier and got the chemistry. So, then we went with a couple guys that were already in the club like Rashika. I think I bought this guy for 500 coins. And I bought this guy for 650. Uh, this guy was already in the club. Jensen there. And then we had Carles Planas for 600 coins. And then a couple Brazilians I already had in the club. So we'll submit that one for a jumbo gold pack, which I believe is 24 items, but three rare. So it's like a it's like a 7.5k pack, but like um, actually it's like a 15k pack, but only three rares. That's that's the best way to explain it. Scotland versus Portugal. Uh, basically, what I did is I just went with. This guy, a uh, Scottish guy I already had in my club, went out and I uh, already had these midfielders that, that are silver there. And then I bought a couple of bronzes for 200 coins. And then I bought, uh, I, I used a cost and I used lens because I needed two rare players and they were already in the club. So this one I did for like 600 coins. Submit the squad there. A silver players pack in return for that. And then Brazil versus Argentina is uh, the toughest one, actually. This one is actually kind of tough. Guys, what happened to the other players? We're good. I just accidentally used those two guys in the other marquee matchups, so they weren't in the club anymore, but I just kind of went and bought them back. So I bought another Carle Carles Planos, and then um, I bought this guy who was a Chinese that I used in one of the other SBCs that we just showed you. So this one gives you a 15K pack, and then overall, you get a 25K pack. So even if you only got a 25K pack for doing all of that, like honestly, you can't really lose coins because... It, it's like pretty much free almost if you have some of the cards already in your club. It is super cheap. So let's go ahead and open these packs. Hopefully we can get a little lucky. Um, we'll open the silver packs first, which are uh, a lot more boring. So I'm going to go ahead and skip them. But there is a silver inform. So we could pack that silver inform card if we're super lucky. But here's an all players pack, um, including somebody from Barcelona. We got somebody from LAFC. We got somebody from Wolfsburg. These guys are going to be useful in the future for sure. I want to actually see what Sergi Samper sells for. Nothing right now, but in the future, he'll go for something. Next pack, small prime silver players pack. What? Super rare mega premium prime electrum players pack. Boer, who, well, he might go for something because the remember the Dutch guys are neat. Wait, hold on. That Dutch SBC is all gold, so I guess. Never mind, never mind. I take it back. So we got a couple rare guys, and uh, all right, send to the club. That was boring. Next, we've got the exciting packs. Jumbo gold pack, 24 cards with three rare. I think I, I packed a Martial in this pack once before. I packed a Martial once before. It's not going to happen this time. Got Gaia. Okay. Um, not great, but not like, okay, it's pretty bad. Next up, we got the 15K pack. Can we at least get a board drop? Like, even if it's a crap 83, I want to see a board drop here. All right? Come on. Come on, EA. Ah, come on. We got Sirachi. Finally, we've got the pack we've all been waiting for. The premium gold players packs. All gold players. Three rares. Maybe an inform. Maybe a Cristiano Ronaldo. You never know. 
My next flip is going to be Buffon. I went out and I picked him up for 131k, which, like, I'm not going to lie, isn't, like, the greatest deal because he was, like, 125k on Wednesday. But if you take a look at his graph throughout the course of Thursday, he was, like, 140 to 150 all day. So, honestly, I feel like I can flip it for possibly around 100 138, I'm thinking, because the next cheapest is 159. Um, and then you got 164, 166. I'm thinking 148 will probably sell after tax. It's about, what is that, 7, 7K tax? So we're still making 10,000 coins on the card once it sells. So let's go ahead and flip that and see if it hopefully sells within the f first hour. Like, I looked at the graph. That's the thing. Like, I was kind of hesitant on buying that one. Because I, I took a look at the graph uh, right here. I do this before I buy all the cards, unless I like know of the card really well, which I don't for Buffon. I haven't looked at him yet. Um, and I looked at it, and it's like he was recently up at 147, like 30 minutes ago. But if you take a look at the course of Wednesday, like he was like 125, like on average. Even as low as like 119 at points, you know? Even as low as 119. And obviously that's just an outlier. That's probably some sort of like, snipe that just got registered by the the system um not like he, he was going for 60k um but he was going for like 120 something so i was i was thinking you know 130 uh 131 not a terrible deal given the fact if you look at yesterday he kind of peaked up at like he, he was hitting one 140 on average um and now that today you know we see the price is going up a little bit in the last three hours the cheapest has been 150 so um I'm confident it'll sell overnight. The only issue is I want to keep flipping tonight, so I want this card to sell quickly. I was never able to actually get my Buffon to sell in the first hour, so what I did is once it expired, I just went ahead and relisted it up for even more overnight. Now, I listed my Felipe Anderson for six hours at 145 tonight. Hopefully, we can sell that and make about 15 to 20K profit on that card. I think actually after tax, it'll be about 14 or 15K. Then uh, the Sané, just for a couple thousand coins, along with all of these Bundesliga informs that have been getting quite annoying at this point. I'm, I'm about ready to sell these. I mean, we've had them for almost a week now, and they haven't really risen that much. We have made a couple thousand coins. You know, we're probably making 1 to 2K per card. And when you do have, like, you know, 40 of them, that is 80,000 coin profit. But still, like... We've had these cards for so long. Like, honestly, I would kind of want more for how long we've had them. But that is how trading works sometimes. Some investments don't rise as much as you want them to. Then we've got a couple of Jonas cards here. Uh, I've got one of them here for 20,000 coins. The other one I paid 25K. Maybe a little bit too much on that one. But I, it should still sell overnight. And then the Buffon, I listed for 155K overnight. Um, so there's one of them that are ch that is cheaper than my Buffon. But... You know, it is up for six hours, so I have assumed that hopefully at least two of them get bought going into weekend league tonight and, you know, when, when the UK wakes up and everything. And then on top of that, you guys obviously saw all of the deals we got today. So thank you so much for supporting the series. If you made it to the end of this video, and I know I turned off the face cam and everything, it's because I took off my hoodie. I've got all my lights off now, so I didn't really want to set everything back up. But nonetheless, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this series, make sure to drop a like on this video and comment down below uh, what you guys have picked up the most of. Um, right now, the most I've picked up are right now are 83s and 84s. I think that's what I'm most heavily invested in, along with those discard bundles like an forms but uh, let me know what you guys are most heavily invested in down below and by telling me that i'll know who stuck around till the end of the video and i'll go ahead and love your guys's comment and try to reply to as many as i possibly can guys thank you so much for supporting the series we're actually getting so close to a hundred thousand subscribers like it's actually kind of insane um what fifa 19 has done to the channel i mean we were just at about seventy-seven thousand subscribers uh maybe well, what, what it would have been like three weeks ago, and now we're at 97,000 subscribers. So we are less than 3K away. Right now we're 2,800 away at the time I'm saying this. That is insane. So if you've made it to the end of the video and somehow haven't hit that sub button yet, go ahead and do so. Share the channel around. Help me get that silver play button. That is literally a dream of mine. But then again, that is the end of today's episode. I'll be back tomorrow with episode 20 and also... If they do drop any player of the month SBCs or SBCs in general, I'll bring you guys the cheapest solution guide if anything drops on Friday. Um, it is 1 a.m. my time, so i got to set an alarm for like 6 a.m. just in case something drops. 
but uh, I will be up, and I will uh, be up on very low sleep if I need to be. That's it for today's video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.